G'day guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, guys, we're doing a huge rapture update for April 2022. Let's jump in and see how everyone's doing. Also, I've taken the wide angle lens off my phone again. So let me know in the comments below if you prefer the wide angle lens on the camera or just the natural camera look. I do find when I'm editing this video or to edit the videos, the wide angle shows more of the enclosure, but it doesn't show too much detail while just a normal lens. It's more zoomed in, but it shows in more detail, if that makes sense. So I'm giving this a go. Let me know, guys, what you prefer. And in the future, I'll just use whatever you guys like more. So anyway, enough babbling. We'll go over here. We'll start off with Bluey, who is my male Eastern Blue Tongue skin. Well, one of three Eastern Blue Tongues we have in the family. He's doing pretty well. He's getting chunky. He's being active. He's just being naughty, trying to I'll clean the glass and then just do this. Just make it dirty again. And he's got a mouth full of substrate. He's trying to be eating something out of substrate. Even though he's got a food bowl where he can just get out of there. Oh, well, blue tongues. Down here, we've got his brother, Bo. He's doing all, pretty well as well. So, Blue, Bo, and Blaine, we'll people get to in a moment, all housed in a 90 centimeter by 45 by 30. I'm thinking of putting these two in bigger enclosures uh, soon, just give them a bit extra room. Like I say, it comes down to cost and space, really, at the end of the day. So in their setups, guys, we've basically got a hide. Well, Blaine's got two hides, but like I said, we'll get to her in a moment. So we've got a hide, a fake plant, a couple of rocks in here, a backing, food bowl, water bowl, uh, coconut fibre as a substrate, backing, heating UV. So with my blue tongues, I've got them all set at 30 degrees Celsius on the warm side, while the cool side says about 27 degrees Celsius. But yeah, they're doing well. Blue and blue. We go down to Blaine. Blaine is a lowland blood blue tongue. So I've got four blue tongues in the room. There she is. She's more shy. She doesn't come out as often. She only comes out when it's quiet. So I don't think that's different to herself, especially the she's got two hides because she is much more shy. But she's gaining confidence, which is great. And close this back up. Pretty much a similar setup to Blue and Blue. This guy here is Monty. Now, Monty is a shingleback skink. He's housed at a 120 centimeter by 45 by 45. You can see he's getting nice and fat now. Might have to put him on a diet soon. But overall, uh, he might lose that when he goes to brumation in the winter. So in his enclosure, we've got a hide, a brick, couple of rocks in here to help with his nails, a backing, a heat globe, UV globe, food bowl and water bowl, and a fake plant. Where Monty is now gets at 33 degrees Celsius. He likes it a bit, bit more, bit more warmer than uh, the blue tongues. What I call size is about 27 degrees Celsius. But that's Monty. He's doing very well. We come over here now. Now I'm happy. Finally, I've got Atrium and Aurelia, my two diamond pythons in together now. Aurelia here is my very high yellow diamond. She's doing fantastic. We've only been here for about a week together now, and uh, they're doing awesome. Both getting along quite well. Atrium is in the hide here. He's technically a high yellow, but not as high as uh, already he. So Atrium is good. Now I don't know what their sexes are, but when they are bigger, uh, I will get them probed and uh, find out if they're male or females. I really like to hope they're both a male and a female. That way I can breed them. But if they're two boys or two girls, I still take it. They're still beautiful snakes to have in the family. So these two are housed in a 70 centimeter with 40 by 50 centimeter enclosure. Two hides, wood bowl, substrate, fake plant, a branch that I can both sit on. Also, when I made this backing, I actually, actually sorry, put a cave in there so they can use that as well. And they share a heat pad and a light strip with the next light snakes we will get to in a moment. But yeah, both are going awesome. So over here, we've got Aaron and Caesar, who are my two children pythons. Same size enclosure. In their enclosure, basically, we've got two hides, a couple of rocks, a water bowl, fake plant, and a backing. We come in and say hello to Aaron and Caesar. So, Aaron's the brown one, while the one who's got his head there, that's Caesar. So, Caesar, he does not like me one little bit, and by the looks of it, he's going to shed his skin. Aaron, she's a girl, she's such a sweetheart. Caesar's a boy, and he's um, a bitey little demon. Oh well, I still love them. Hopefully we'll get some eggs out of them this year. If not, doesn't matter. 
Next up, we've got Akko. So she's the diva of the retro room. She's a Eastern Water Dragon. She's looking at my camera equipment here, like the cord, thinking it's food, the silly girl. So she's housed in a 120 centimeter by 60 by 60 centimeter enclosure. Got a couple of pieces of wood, a few rocks, a fake plant, a hide, food bowl, nice water dish over here. And all she needs is something to in, I need to soak in. See what I mean? See what I mean? Get naughty. See, it's not food. Crazy girl. We've got a hammock. We've got a, her uh, stick, sorry. And yeah, backing, heating, UV. Uh, so she gets about 30 degrees Celsius on this side. Her water bowl gets about 22 degrees Celsius. Also, I keep forgetting to tell these guys. 31 degrees Celsius for the two snake enclosures. On the warm side, there's about 25 on the cooler side. Up here, we have Miss Crazy. We name her Miss Crazy. Well, her actual name is Ray, but her nickname is Miss Crazy. It's because when I was cleaning the glass this morning, um, while I was open, she decided to jump out and try to make her run for it. Yeah, but Ray, he's going pretty good. Um, gaining size, gaining weight. I'm hoping this time this month, or even not next month, the latest, I should have a bigger enclosure for her. You know, I still have to save up and get the materials for that. So, yeah. Fingers crossed in a couple of months she can get out of this small cage and I can put something, her something in bigger. And then I'll put something else in here, which we'll get to later. While I'm still playing about it. But anyway, so I need to stop yaffering. She's housed in 120 cm by 45 by 45. Same as Monty Boy. So her enclosure, we've got two hides. Well, technically one, which is this cavey. She can sometimes hide underneath the log there. She's got a backing, fig robing UV, a couple of fake plants, water, the substrate, and a couple of rocks actually will bask on. Where she sits, the bask gets about 33 degrees Celsius. Where she's now digging around, looking for more, more food, gets about 27 degrees. Let me know, guys, if you're interested in seeing a lizard feeding video. I've done a snake one a couple of months ago. So, yeah, let me know if you want to see a lizard one. And that way I can make that out and keep going. So that's it for Ray. We'll go over here next. This is Bam Bam, my male pygmy bearded dragon. He's housing a 90 by 45, I think by 50 centimeter enclosure. He's doing pretty well. Um, he stopped eating, but he was still eating superworms. But he's still being, I don't know, some days he's active, some days he's not. But like I said, we are going to cooler weather, so he's probably thinking of brumation. So we've got sand as a substrate, very fine sand. Got his brick that can bask on, not so sleeping. We've got his food bowl, water bowl, fake plant, a dragon head that can also hide into, backing, heat, and UV. He's got his hammock and another hide over there. But overall, he's doing quite well. Still maintaining weight, which is great. But he's now gets about 33 degrees Celsius. On the other side, I guess about 27. He likes to warm with this fella. We come down here next to Miss Crystal. Now she's my female. We did try to house Bam Bam and Crystal together at one stage and uh, she never killed him. So that'll be it. We'll keep them separate. She's made a bit of a mess today in the food and that. But she's housed in a 60 by 40 by 40 enclosure. Doing pretty well. She's still chunky. <laughs> so we've got a fur bowl, water bowl, ornament, a hide, rock, a branch, heating UV, and a backing. Her temperature is a bit cool. I think it's 31 for her. That's it's in a smaller enclosure. But yeah, she's doing fine. You can see she's looking, looking around. Sometimes these two have a head bob and hand waving competition. Or sometimes she'll be going off a nut. Well, Chris over here doesn't give, doesn't give, you know, she's like, yep, I'm just gonna tick you off today for no reason. <laughs> oh well, I have put a bit of a blanking here so they don't see each other constantly. But still, I like to see them interact with each other. It's quite, kind of funny, to be honest. We go over here next to Pedro, my pink tongue skink. Same size enclosure as Crystal, but his enclosure is a little different. So up here, we've got a UV light. Got his heat pad where this height is. A couple of rocks, another height over there. Food bowl, which is pretty much eating almost all his food from last night. A couple of fake plants and a couple of rocks. Pretty sure he was lurking under here. Hey, big boy. He's doing well. He's gaining size. 
well, I want to say size, but it's going to weight. So that's good to see. I do weigh my reptiles every now and again just to make sure they're doing good. Uh, great. So, guys, I'm just going to put this camera down so I can lock this enclosure and then unlock this one underneath so I can say hello to this beautiful animal. Do you apologize about the audio, guys. So in this 30 by 30 by 30, we have uh, Diablo. Is he under here? Yes, he is. He is my brown tree snake. Don't want to disturb him because it is feeding day tomorrow when I'm film filming this. And usually he doesn't like to be disturbed. Um, pretty much a day out from being fed. So in the enclosure, we've got paper towel. It's just easy to clean for him because his waist is pretty liquidy, being a small snake. Got a piece of wood. Couple of hides, so a heat pad underneath uh, this side, water bowl, and the backing as well. So sometimes you sit up here or in the middle here, but yeah, he's overall going well. He's actually gaining size. You know, I didn't realize how long he was uh, until the other day when I got him out just to make sure he was okay. He's probably close to being nine centimeters, but it's just all, um, he's just slender as, so I need to beef him up. So I'm trying to put this lock back on. There we go. He won't be getting out. Don't want a little brown tree snake escaping. Yes, hello, Crystal. Okay. Uh, don't be alarmed. Graham likes her baths. So I have had mites come through the collection recently. Uh, so I've been keeping an eye on these two. So in here you've got Graham and Super Size in the hide. She's currently in a shed, so I do not want to disturb her. But uh, Graham here is taking a bath. She doesn't have mites. I've been watching like a hawk with these guys. Uh, so luckily, so far, so good. Uh, the mite situation is getting better, but we'll get to that later on. But like I said, I do know Graham likes her bath. So these two are housed in a 90 by 40, uh, sorry, 60 by 60 enclosure. No, 60 deep, and I think it's 50 tall. Can't quite remember. So I've got four highs in here for them to choose from the heat and just a normal light on this one enclosure gets about 25 degrees on that side it's about 31 32 degrees celsius so we've got a fake plant a couple of rocks a branch in here as well just to decorate the enclosure <sighs> graham 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 you think you're an anaconda but your children's python well plus what a python should say oh well we'll continue on so over here now in this 50 by 30 by 25 we have Rosu, who is my little ridgetail mono. I'll just open this up, see if I can get him come out. Hey, wakey wakey, people want to see you. Hello gorgeous, come on. So there he is, all in his glory, he's a cute little thing. I gave him a good feed of crickets this morning. So, yeah, he's nice and fat. So, basically, that hide there, we've got a heat lamp that sits on top. Basically, it gets about 36, 37 degrees there. Being a small lizard, I do not want to cook him. Some people keep these guys like 70, uh, 70 degrees Celsius, which is quite hot. But for now, I'll just keep it on the cooler side or cooler end for these guys while he grows up. So, he's on sand, so his water bowl, another hide, a fake plant that I've added in there, and a UV light. So he's doing pretty well, gaining size, eating a lot of food, just being the crazy little guy that I love. Next door here, we have two 30s by 30 by 20 enclosures. One houses a gecko, one houses a skink. We'll go to the skink first. So both of them share a heat pad. So we've got a hide, a good thick layer of sand, water, and a fake plant. So in here we have Sui. Who is my sand swimmer? If I can find the find a little lizard. Oh, there she is. You're hiding in the plant. There she is. Unfortunately, the lighting is not that great. But I'll bring her to the front. Hoping we'll see her a bit better. There she is. So the plan is, she's happy in here for the time being because she's smashing crickets. Once all rose the outgrows, oh, I just miss her going in the sand for you guys. Okay. Once Rosie outgrows that enclosure, I will put Sui in that one. Oh yeah, she's doing awesome. 
In this one, we've got Charcoal, who's my spine and tail gecko. He's the eastern form, I think. Eastern or southern, I can't quite remember. Where is he? There he is. I knew he'd be up in that crevice there, underneath the hide. He's going good. He's, he's nice and fat. I do apologise, trying to do things one handed. It's not easy. He had a good feed of crickets last night. He's got his sticks and a fake plant, a couple, uh, hide, and a water bowl. Otherwise, he's doing pretty well. Trying to put this lid back on. I like to put locks on most of my enclosures. That way I know they're closed and the animals can't get out. Uh, she was just out before, now she's going hiding. So in this 100 by 40 by 50 enclosure, no, sorry, 45 centimeters deep, we have Billy, who is my third eastern blue tongue. There she is. You're not happy. She's hissing at me. So basically where she's sitting there, she's got a heat pad. That sits at 30 degrees Celsius. We've got two hides, a couple of rocks, UV light, we turn that off. Uh, of course we're just cooking these two up here. The backing, we've got a food bowl and a water bowl. Otherwise, whoop, she's going pretty well. While I'm here as well, uh, baby stinks. So Emma as always babies are doing well. Baby seven and four haven't eaten yet, even though it's been about a month since they've been born. Uh, we'll try and see if I can assist feed them later today. Otherwise, right, every other baby's going well. Valentina we're keeping, and baby number six we're also keeping because he's got some unique uh, patterns. So there will be a competition on this weekend on my Instagram page regarding to naming this fella here. Uh, but yeah, so babies one, three, five and six are going well. Baby number eight over there is going to a good friend of mine. Um, but one favor for him, I still need to get him to eat a couple more times before I'm comfortable uh, selling him. Basically, there's number five, he's out. So gives you an idea what they look like. Number six is just hanging out a little bit. But yeah, they're all doing pretty well considering, you know, a couple of them haven't eaten yet. But uh, yeah, all in all, yeah, we'll continue on and um, I'll give you guys a proper update in about a week or two, depending how busy it gets for me in life. Excuse me. That way I can give you a proper update on those guys. Speaking of Emma Zula, over here. So Emma, he's the boy he's sitting there. So these guys are at, set at 32 degrees Celsius, I think it is. By well, the mum, Azula. Here she is in all her, in all her glory. She just shed it the other day, so she's looking absolutely stunning. So in the enclosure now, guys, we've got a hide, or two hides actually. Um, fake plant, a couple of rocks, water bowl, and a heat pad. They share a live strip with pretty much Molly, Chris, and Chapman Orchid. But yeah, uh, these guys are going good. I'm confident they uh, might free now. Also, I've had a little stick in there too, because she likes to climb this girl. But yeah, they're going awesome. Need to fat her up again, just in case they end up breeding again this year. I did catch these two lock up again about a week ago. So, yeah. What can you do? <laughs> they just keep going at it. Funny as. Over here we have Molly, who is my female jungle carpet python. She's doing well, actually, considering what she's been through the last 12 months. Having RI, surgery, a whole host of things. Uh, she's only on weaned mice at the moment, considering she doesn't have a very big stomach anymore. But yeah, she's going well, uh, feeding her once a week now, just to keep her weight up. So she's housed in a 90 by 45 by 60 centimetre enclosure. Custom backing that we did for her. We've got a water bowl, a couple of fake plants, her hide, and that platform there gets about 32 degrees Celsius. She's keeping her warmer than I should, just to make sure she doesn't get RI again. But she's having a bit of a snooze on that ledge there. She's doing just fine. Come down here now to Charles, who's my albino darling carpet python. Now uh, he's doing pretty well. Um, he will probably get a bigger hide soon as he's being a fat turd in that one. Yeah. So basically, these, the reason why these guys are on paper towels is just because we had mites on this side of the room. And I'm keeping them on paper towel for the time being, just to make sure they don't have them anymore. 
So what he is now, he's got a heat pad that gets about 33 degrees. He's got his hammock. So he's got a little light up here. A couple of rocks. He's got another hide here in a water bowl. But overall, he's doing pretty well, gaining weight. Um, he's got a bit of attitude still. He's actually trying to bite me through the glass the other day. He actually damaged his jaw a tiny bit. But he's back to normal now, so... Yeah. We'll go up here next. So Charles is the same size enclosure as Molly, by the way. I forgot to mention that. In this 120 by 55 by 55 centimeter enclosure, we have Chris, who is my black headed python. I want to touch him or you know, get him out to, to show you guys. Chris, he's getting big. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? You going good? You're using the paper towel to cover yourself today. So I can't really get any better shot than this really guys. He's close to being seven and a half, eight foot. And you think, hang on a second, a hundred twenty centimeter enclosure for you know saying that's roughly 130, so 230 centimeters. Technically he's oak he's doing fine, like he prefers the smaller spaces. As you see, he's wedged himself in that, so he's quite happy in that. So he's got a hip pad there, gets about 32 degrees Celsius, a couple of rocks, a little plant that I made up for him. We've got his water bowl. He's got his uh, log hide there. I'm getting him a bigger hide because he can't fit in that one no more. You're a grown boy, eh? I'll see your head. Get, tuck it back in. You'll get food later. So when you guys see these, these guys would all be fed. Just doing this now, that way I don't get bitten later on. But yeah, Chris is doing well. Now we come down here to the last animals. Unfortunately, these two still got mites. I've tried one product for the last three months and it has not worked. So I'm kind of annoyed that it hasn't eliminated them. Uh, there's another method which is frontline. Um, I think they don't want to use too much of that because it can actually harm the snakes. So I'm being pretty um, resourceful on that, just doing it only for a couple of weeks uh, frontline treatment. So Chappie's on top of the hide there. He's doing pretty well. Uh, all good, she needs to go on a diet because she's kind of a pretty fat snake, I'll be honest. She needs to um, lose probably about a couple, a couple hundred grams. She's a bit overweight. So, yeah. Overall, she's still happy and healthy. She's just a bit fat, in my opinion. <laughs> Don't take that too too sensitive. Uh, all good, you're such a beautiful girl. So for now, it's pretty basic for these two. Just two hides from the hiding. A water bowl if they need to drown the mites they can do that now just a back in the outside he globe up here and keep them warm so red chappy is gets about 33 degrees uh all good basically over that side that's about 25 degrees but yeah these two are going well uh pretty much the last two snakes i've kind of got mites that i can see i thought chris had one the other day but it turns out uh it was just a bit of dirt i'm keeping a close eye on all of them at the moment so Hopefully these mites go soon and I can make these enclosures look really nice again. Uh, it's been a bit frustrating lately, but um, what can I do except just keep going at it? But oh well, that's, it is what it is, unfortunately. So thank you guys for watching. This, that'll be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I do apologise for these videos going over 20 minutes now. There's about 30 odd animals now I've got in the family. And I just want to keep them... Um, well, up to date with you guys as you guys want to make sure well, you guys are kind of keen on how everyone's doing uh, every month so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in our video